Hello, this video will demonstrate how to record a CICS virtual service using the CA dev test portal. A CA virtual, uh, CICS virtual service uh, is, a, is a program that's linked to in CICS. Any program that's initiated via CICS link, we can record and virtualize. So I've got a CICS transaction. I can run it several different ways. Here's a, a TN3270 window little green screen where I can run the transaction directly in CICS. And here the transaction is running. I can also run it through the CICS transaction gateway. It goes through a little Java program that accesses the CICS transaction gateway and runs the CICS transaction. And in, these tra in this transaction, we have a program called demo get B that is an issue sometimes when we're doing testing. Demo get B will fail occasionally because perhaps a database is down or some test data didn't get reset, or maybe it's a, a DPL link, a distributed program link, and the remote CICS region is not available. For whatever reason, we'd like to virtualize it to eliminate it as a constraint. So before we get going, we have to check a couple of things. Let's make sure our CICS agents are connected. You can click on the Agents tab in the portal. There's our three CICS agents that we have connected under the Mainframe tab. The one we care about here is CICS TS53. That's the Apple ID. The first prefix is SOW1, which is the LPAR that that CICS region is running on. We have a green flag, so it shows that we're connected. Next, we have to make sure that we have a copybook bundle that I can use for the program demo get B. We want to use copybooks to map the com area that's passed into demo get B and returned by demo get B. So there's the file we have that has the COBOL copybook mapping for the COM area. It's called demo get B dot text. And it's just your typical COBOL syntax uh, defining a, a, a data area. Part of the cop, copybook bundle is also a mapping file that shows how things are mapped. This allows me to map a program to a specific copybook. And we can look at the mapping that's been set up for demo get B. There's mapping for both the request and the response. They're the same in this case because the copybook applies to both the request com area and the response. And this mapping simply says, if I have a program called demo get B, then uh, use demo get B dot text. And you can look down here and see the actual XML that's generated that's used in the virtual service. It says to use the metadata, uh, a program name key. And if it has the value demo get B, then use demo get B dot text for the copy book. Okay, so we've got everything ready to go. And we can record a virtual service. So we will create a virtual service by recording. We'll give it a name of demo get B. And the transport protocol is CICS, because we're talking to the CICS agent. I have to tell it which program to record. And I can do that in two ways. There's this defined elements panel, where I can look at the programs that are defined on the CICS regions. So let me change the prefix to demo and retrieve 100. Refresh it, and that shows me all the programs that start with DEMO on all of the CICS regions. I can reduce it down to CICS TS53, and there's all my programs. So I could select demo get B from this list, or I could add it manually. 
And let's take a look at how to add it manually. Click on the add element, put in the name, The region I want to record on, the CICS region, is CICS TS53 on LPAR SOW1. And I've got a green light here. So once I have a green light, it means I'm ready to record. I could also enter one of these filters if I needed to restrict both the recording and the playback for the virtual service. I could restrict it to transactions in CICS that are run by a specific user ID or CICS links that have a certain system ID or transaction ID coded on the CICS link, or I could restrict it to the current running transaction. That's the EIB transaction ID, the current running transaction that's performing the CICS link. I don't need any filters for this demo, so I'll go ahead and start recording. Now that I'm recording, I simply run my transaction that, that does the link to, see, to demo get B. You can run it through the CICS transaction gateway. And I've got one transaction recorded. And that's all I really need to create a pretty reasonable virtual service. So let's finish this up. We have to add the CICS copybook data protocol for both the request and the response. It'll allow us to map the COM area with copybooks. And to specify this, I have to tell it which copybook bundle to use. I use the one I've got called CICS. I'll leave the default start and end column. That's the, the COBOL standard, start in column six and then in 72. And I've already got it set up to use code page IBM 037. So it will convert EBCDIC to ASCII in all of the character fields. I've done this for the request, and I have to save it and indicate the same thing for the response. So I'll just make sure that that's got the right copybook bundle selected. And I'm ready to go. So I'll go ahead and save it and edit the virtual service just to take a look at it. So here's the virtual service that it created. There is two responses here. There's uh, the, the, the exact match response, which is the first one. And there's the default response or sometimes called the meta response. So in the request, you can see that it took data out of the payload or out of the com area and um, mapped it to the copybook. All of these names are data areas that came out of the copybook, data area names. And it, it recognized that the account number looks like it could be a candidate for a magic string. So it made it a magic string. And that was a, that was a good choice because it, it, it is best used as a magic string. And the rest of the areas weren't set in the request. In the response, you can see it mapped out by the copy book. This is the data in the com area. And it's got uh, this flag, this message. It's got the account number in a magic string. And then it's got the, the balance, the account balance, and then the average balance. And this is the response that will be used for when the account number is one, when it, when it matches exactly. This meta response is what's going to be used when the account number doesn't match one. And I can edit this uh, to provide whatever values I want. I could change this to 999 for the meta response, whatever I want to do. And that's as simple it is, as it is to create a, a CICS virtual service recording in the portal.